Welcome back everyone to another Street Fighter 5 replay. Uh, today uh, we're going to start off by looking at the ranking before we get into some Zangief and Bison play. And uh, At the end there's actually two clips on the top players. Uh, let's go over this real quick. Uh, so the, this is the first, um, the top seven right here you see. Number one is Phenom and this was two days ago. And to get to number one you need 6,813. Uh, league points. So I just wanted to show the difference and number two is PR, PR Balrog and he's pretty active in the Capcom uh, community and there's Sabin but he stalls them. Uh, those are the two that I recognize uh, that are famous within Street Fighter 5 and uh, I was just seeing what kind of characters are there and we see uh, Bison pretty strong up there, Nakali and another Bison two dolls them. and I'm surprised to see Mika as a top and um, so usually in Street Fighter 4, I remember when I first looked at the rankings, it was all I used. It was pretty lame. But now there's a, a, a lot more variety. And then as we can see, I was going to see how much you need to be top 100. To get to a top 100, you need 4,000 league points. At least 4,200 league points. So it's pretty competitive to get to this point. But again, to remind you guys, today is, is actually officially one week after the release date of Street Fighter 5 and we see right here at level 50 is Angry Pongo, Pongo. and this guy is this Korean player from um, Street Fighter 4 and he used Seth right so I think you guys seen him before and this is my first match I'm showing a difference between uh, um, me versus uh, another rookie and we're both rookies playing and how after this right after this is gonna be the pros of Phenom uh, as his beat Bison versus another uh, high rank Zangief. I want to make something clear before this starts is that um, your levels are different so this is my player level 72 and then my Zangief or character level is only like level uh, it doesn't say here but it was like level 4 or something it's pretty low uh, I'll show you guys the difference too versus the uh, high rank players and you know PR Balrog is pretty well known and then he He's like, uh, he actually became first place today and he posted that on Twitter and that, that's when he surpassed Phenom and I'll show you that at the end too. So as you can see, the gameplay between me and this other rookie, uh, Polecats Rock, uh, that uh, you can see how we play differently. There's not much switchies, we're just going at it, right? We're just trying to, uh, you know, try to win the game. So uh, he activates his V trigger and then he throws me. Uh, my my V my v, my v trigger is fully charged now. I don't think I get to use it in this game uh, since you have so much solar cell. I should activate it. So I use the lariat. Uh, it's supposed to have priority over the head stomp, but it looks like he had the better advantage right there. Uh, I barely won this one. I only had a little bit of life left. Um, what I noticed about uh, rookie uh, Bison players are that um, they are uh, they charge up a lot. As you can see uh, soon, uh, look, he's already charging right there. Now he wants to do the devil's reverse, you know? It's like they're up to something. So they're not for, for once, my priority for the Lariat was um, better than his head stomp, which I think was supposed to be the case. Um, so it looks like he's trying to, like, oh, time it perfectly for a scissor kick. Uh, look, looks like my Siberian Express is good. Uh, looks like he just is another EX. Uh, now you've activated his V-Trigger, he's pretty on point. Um, but you look at the ranking, he's not actually that well ranked. So that's why we're rookies. And um, so I finally finished him with my Lariat. The thing about these Bison rookies is like too much head stomp, right? It's pretty predictable. Uh, as long as you're being patient and you can anticipate their next move. Uh, so right after this, we're going to start looking at... Um, so yeah, my Zangief is only level 5. And you'll see that comparison with the pros or the high rank players uh, they're like at almost 30 or high 20s um, as we can see right here I'll pause it real quick so Phenom is a number one rank two days ago his M Bison is actually level 4 I think that's because he's a Nakali player but his uh, player level is 20 but his character level for M Bison is 4 but his player level is 20 so same thing here so his uh, Bricks SWE Sweden it is a uh, level 140 his player level maybe because he was playing some uh, 
offline games, and then uh, level 20 is his Zangief, okay? That's probably because he's his main. So these are like the top players, like their league points are within a couple thousand. Uh, this is like a couple, uh, old replay, like maybe three, four days ago. That's why he's not up in the 6,000 league points yet. But I think they fluctuate a little bit because this is officially the first week of um, Street Fighter V release. So now we're going to see how the uh, top ranked players play. Same characters. And you'll see that there's a lot more quickly. And you can compare the differences. Uh, there's a lot more timing differences. There's uh, frame differences. I'm not a uh, pro at like uh, gameplay, but then looks like they, they know what they're doing. Uh, so I would say uh, M. Bison has the advantage in this game because uh, he has more mobility issues, but then they make him slower in this game versus Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4, he is a lot faster in walking. But his walk speed is really slow, as you can see on the screen. Zangief is not no longer the slowest walking character. Um, so you can see the combos once he wants to use it is really fast. And look, he does his uh, footsies. But I think at the same time, he's basically charged most of the time. So he's pretty um, quick on his movement. And then with this uh, Zangief, uh, he has to like anticipate Bison's move. That's why he's not really engaging. Uh, he does like the butt. And then he does the Rupal driver. And look at that. And he also finishes in with the Tiberian Express. So that's a big difference. I use Tiberian Express a lot, but the pros they they, they do what they need to do, right? They like you saw a headbutt, you saw a knee hammer, um, you saw him use uh, Iron Muscle. Uh, you can see. Look at the new Bison move. Uh, his new throws. He has. Uh, this, this guy, I noticed his combos, uh, he uses a lot of like medium punches to hard punches. Look, that's a, that's a strong upper. Uh, you can see Zangief just doing his iron muscle. Try to uh, do some footies with that low sweep of Bison. Um, so Bison doesn't like to get too close, so he just throws him. And we can see that they're just doing a lot more footies than our my original match. And he runs in with a fight. Something fierce. Uh, the trip doesn't work. Zangi punishes him with that. Uh, you can see that Zangi absorbs on that white damage, but now he got he got taken down for it. The Psycho Inferno is a little bit different. And look at those combos, man. Psycho Inferno in head stomp. Uh, I didn't know that was a possibility, but then uh, it's good to watch these uh, high rank players play because you can see what they do different than what you do and how to play against other players that that you might come across. Like, let's say it's, I'm Zangief, right? I'm gonna uh, watch these pros play against M. Bison so to learn how he plays. Look at those combos. He does like light, light into strong roundhouse, you know, or a strong kick. Uh, he does a lot more like uh, iron muscles just in case he's gonna absorb some damage and then punish him for it. Uh, look at uh, Lord Phenom, you see? It? You can see that he's ranked two. And he'll do some like uh, normal, like uh, strong fears. Um, but look at these small pokes, these small pokes like one or two. Uh, this brick Sweden is ranked 77. So that's why like, I think it's more important to play rank right now because within the first couple weeks, uh, it might fluctuate, but then you know, you, you get to play a lot of like skilled people and learn more. Versus if you keep playing casual, you might not be uh, able to uh, participate in these high rank players. Uh, so the Zangief uses his V trigger, not but he's cornered. He has, a rare sight. Um, I do think for Zangief to uh, be more effective in this game, like he needs to be more mobile. Like even though Bison has the slowest walk speed, it looks like he can walk around, do some fireball, teleport. All his moves are pretty like long range to be honest. But then Zangief seems like he's a little bit slower. So uh, right before I say bye, we're gonna look at uh, one last match, and that's between. Bison and Nash. I mean, these are like the highest uh, lead points I, I've seen on his replay list. Sorry about that. Um, so I was just gonna show you some of their fighter profiles. And you can see M. Bison, this guy's uh, rank 45. No, he's rank two. I'm sorry about that. Uh, this guy also used M. Bison, but in this particular replay, he uh, used Nash as his favorite character before he started the game. 
So you can see the lead point differences and then the level differences. Um, I do hope you guys enjoy these uh, high rank games. If you guys want me to commentate and uh, post more videos on uh, professional play, higher rank players, uh, we, I can do that. You can, you can see the rank is right here, rank 8 versus rank 21. And this is 5,000 league points versus 4,000 league points. And I know my, my videos right now are not, uh, they're still rookie level. Uh, but then this is more like if you are an audience uh, and you want to watch more pros, pro videos, just let me know. I'll download them just like this and I'll post them and commentate on them if you guys like. Um, I would like to uh, say that I appreciate everyone who views. I hope I do get more uh, subscriptions and comments and likes. Uh, so we can see that between two very dynamic players, you see a lot of uh, engagement right across the screen. Um, you can see that Nash started off with a few combos himself and then uh, this is pretty classic because in the top 10 we already saw Nash uh, having a couple of Nashes in the top 10 and then a couple of uh, Embicings in the top 10 or Dictator. Uh, you can see the combos here, maybe it's a good way to learn. Um, look at how aggressive they are versus the Zangief one, you have to be careful in how, how the positioning, where they're at. Um, look at these normals uh, that are cornering Nash in the corner. Uh, look at him doing different kind of attacks just to like keep him there, uh, keep him guessing. And look at Nash uh, fighting back, getting out of that corner. A lot of EX moves, and then look at that, he finishes him off. Uh, usually, I would say this is like a classic matchup. I think in the story, it was like Nash was chasing down, uh, tracking down M. Bison. And so, um, I think. The reason why Nash is the way he looks is because he got captured, but um, this is the kind of place that I actually hope to see at EVO, EVO 2016. I, I still saw on the Twitter website that uh, a lot of people already signed up. This is like um, the most signups ever. It's like some kind of record that people were just uh, enrolling into the the tournament already and like I, I plan to make an appearance and uh, you know play in the tournament and see where I rank. So I think Nash is super pretty nice. Hey, look at that. He teleports and he does his uh, sonic boom by vertically. Um, sorry about my poor commentating but I'm like you know everyone's still new with this game. Um, supposedly I think M Bison does win this one. So this is where he does, oh, so he did a scissor kick into EX, um, Psycho Inferno into Head Stomp. I mean, I don't know how, how fast he can pull that off, but it looks like he knows what he's doing. Like, uh, so he starts off with Devil's Reverse, and there's a crossover, uh, he teleports, he doesn't teleport, it looks like a teleport, but he's just dashing. A normal throw, another Head Stomp, uh, corner, corner again, look at that strong uh, overhead. Uh, he's gonna throw him again into a stun, and basically that's the end of the game. That cycle in front. I think uh, his screen on screen play is that he actually likes uh, to use cycle in front, especially if you're within close corners and he has you trapped. It's just like a uh, go-to move, to be honest. Uh, it looks like it does a really good damage, and you can connect into combos. Um, so I was just gonna show. Um, the rankings uh, of today. So if you look at today's ranking, uh, I think PR Balrog changed his name to uh, Filipino Champ, and his name is Ryan Filipino Champ Ryan, and uh, he uses Dalzum. I guess he just changed it. Now they're Platinum League. See, they're Platinum, Platinum, Platinum. Top three is Platinum. Phenom is still there with M Bison. And Sabin moved up in the rankings to uh, Platinum as well in rank, rank 3. Then uh, Mika is up there, Bear Claw, uh, rank 4, then Nash, and then another Bison, then the Call. Oh, PR Barog is right here. Then Filipino Champ. I wonder. I don't think. I thought they were the same people. Sorry. I need to clear that up in the future. You guys want to leave a comment about that? Uh, um, put one down below. Uh, you can see I was just showing you guys where the top uh, uh, 
just do players again. Again, there's a variety, but not much for I use this time. And then number 50 is changed again to another thousand. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please uh, subscribe, comment, and like if you guys can. Have a nice day.